friends, thank you so much for joining me today here on Lumiere and a big warm welcome to you. If you are new here, I am Claire Summer and I'm going to be doing your pick a card reading and today's reading is love messages from your person. So I cannot wait to get started doing this reading. I will insert an overhead picture of the cards both with and without crystals so that you can choose in the way that resonates with you the most. Group one is the amethyst double terminated point, group two is the quartz crystal geode, and group three is the raw rose quartz. Take as much time as you need, take a deep breath, drop down into your body and listen to your intuition. You are welcome to pause the video if you need a little bit more time to make your selection. While you make your choice, I just want to shout out to my lovely friend Misha. You may have heard me mention her on the channel. I've got a few interviews with Misha on the channel as well. Misha is an extremely gifted Akashic Records reader. So if you are looking to get answers in your life, the Akashic Records hold all the secrets to your soul's journey, everything that you ever have experienced and everything that you will experience. So if you want to find out your life's purpose, uh, what it is you're here, for about a particular connection with somebody from the past or the connection that you are asking about today, then Misha can definitely help you. All her details are linked below. She is offering $11.11 .11 off her Akashic Record readings for Lumiere subscribers. So check out her details if that resonates, but make your selection. Timestamps are in the description box and I will see you in a moment. Hello my beautiful friends, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one. This is for everyone who picked the double terminated amethyst quartz crystal. All right, let's look at the messages from your person today. Um, I'm going to begin actually, I'm just uh, going to mix it up a little bit with one of these beautiful um, oracle cards. I think it's called the lover's oracle or something like this. They're really difficult to shuffle because they're quite large. I've got quite little hands um, and they're all heart shaped. Let me know in the comments if you have uh, this deck yourself. Um, this is the one that wants to come out. Uh, so this is a message from your person. It, look at this beautiful image. The artwork on these is absolutely incredible. It says a reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So everything is working out for your highest good. This is a strong message from spirit that you do not need to worry. If there is some time, if things aren't moving as fast as you would like, or you're taking a little break with this connection, then, you know, it isn't in vain. This is what spirit is saying. You know, this is like um, a really positive sign that um, you can do some nourishing healing work and that your person um, is taking some time to reflect, um, to come back with uh, more clarity and answers for you. All right. Okay. Now I will look at your tarot and clarify with your oracle cards later. You get the Knight of Wands to open your reading, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands, you get the Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups, whoops, you get the Three of Wands, the Four of Cups, and then you get Nine of Swords in reverse, Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Wands to close your reading as well. So, um, I see Taurus energy here, Leo's energy here very strongly as well. Maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You also have three nines, uh, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So that's uh, always a strong kind of uh, little indicator from spirit, uh, a message from spirit to kind of um, that that number may be significant to you and your connection may resonate with you. Um, has an angel number or you may see that number over the next few days. That is spirit connecting to you directly. It's the energy of your person and your person connecting with one another. Your person's message to you, they're very attracted to you. They are drawn to you. Um, they find you just very beautiful, very handsome, very magnetic, and they are pulled into your energy. They feel very confused though with the Seven of Cups and this Five of Wands. There is this like a lot of confusion about what it is that they want and I sense um, that there is inner turmoil um, that's going on within them. There is some sort of, um, they're, they're fighting something within them. It's like they haven't got a lot of clear answers. They don't know what it is that they want and they are, uh, it's like 
they are uh, fighting their inner resistance, but all the time they are pulled towards you, they are drawn towards you because they find you magnetic and attractive. It may be the case that um, if they've been showing up in a way that seems very confusing, this is why, it's because they feel very confused within themselves, right? It may also be the case that they've been a little bit hasty. Maybe they came on a little bit intense, right? They feel very intensely about you. And it may be that they came on like a little bit too hot and heavy. Maybe um, it was kind of too much too soon. Things moved a little bit too fast for you, right? Um, it's like they got swept up in their own emotions, their own feelings, their own desires as well. This is indicated here. And um, what I'm hearing from spirit is perhaps that wasn't for the best, that intensity. It could have been the case that maybe you let them set the pace with this. You know, maybe they were blowing up your phone with loads of messages um, in the beginning. Um, of your connection, uh, maybe they wanted to hang out with you all the time, you spend a lot of time with them, but now they're just like, they're thinking about the long term, they're thinking about where this is going or what they want, and um, this is causing some uh, like inner turmoil within them. Um, let's take a look at your other cards and see, because they're moving forward with this, your person wants you to know that they want to um, level up in some way, Right? They want to kind of level up in some way. They want you to know that this isn't... What I'm hearing from Spirit is slow down, slow down. So I'm really getting this energy that either things were very intense when you first met each other or you went through a very intense period with one another or it was kind of too much too soon. It moved too quickly, right? So your person wants things to slow down. And it may be the case that their natural energy is to kind of to be quite fiery to be quite passionate to be quite intense right but it isn't necessarily for the best right with you both so there is this need to kind of uh just relax a little bit maybe or to kind of slow things down to take things step by step i'm hearing from spirit to get to know each other right uh or to get to know each other at a deeper level um if things have been a little bit hot and heavy or a little bit kind of surface level, get to know each other. So this Eight of Pentacles and this um, Knight of Pentacles is really kind of like about putting the work in to build something greater, right? Putting the work in step by step, getting to know each other, taking your time. There is no rush. You have all the time in the world. This is what your person wants you to know, that it may be the case that they are very intense and they're asking you to set the pace a little bit. So rather than matching their pace, if they're very intense or, um, you know, speeding things up a little bit or rushing things, right? Their message to you is, you know, can you set the pace? Can you help them to be more grounded, to slow things down a little bit? Um, and just to set like more of a rhythm, more of a tempo that is more um, sustainable, right? Because this intensity that I'm seeing of this kind of whirlwind of emotions and feelings and this intensity isn't sustainable for the long term. It's like uh, a spark that goes out really quickly. You want to go for the long burn. So, and this is what your person wants from their higher self in their heart of hearts as well. It's something that doesn't come naturally to them, but it's something that's working. They're working on themselves inside, right? It's something that they're working on spiritually and emotionally to kind of uh, be more grounded, to take things slower, to be more steady. But they want you to know that they want to work on this. They want to work on this aspect of their character, uh, but also they want to work on this with you, of kind of taking this to the next level, of working things out with you, of working towards getting to know you better, take it how it resonates. It's just a general reading. There is this... Um, Again, with this seven of wands, this inner conflict where they're kind of fighting this, they know that there's this need to be more grounded, to be more measured, to take, take things a step at a time, right? I feel like this may be a pattern with them that, you know, they want you to know that um, they do go in, you know, it's like all guns blazing, really intense, and then things fizzle out very quickly, and this may be a pattern with your person. Um, but with you, they want things um, to be slower, to be nourishing, to get to know you, because this Knight of Pentacles is all about building something for the future. But they are um, 
fighting their sort of um, base urges or their kind of natural instinct to always kind of rush and be intense, right? Um, with the Seven of Wands, this is what they are fighting. This is the inner conflict with them. But Spirit is really saying you can help them out with this by setting the pace for them of the communication, of the dates, of the connection. Um, it may also be the case that... Um, they feel like there's some resistance here with the Seven of Wands. They feel like they are fighting outer circumstances. So it may be the case that you are in a complicated connection. Maybe there's um, other energies like a third party energy. Maybe they've got a lot of responsibilities in their life and that this is making things uh, complicated. There is this energy of complexity of things being complicated here. And um, it may also be the case that they feel very burdened by their work responsibilities at this time, that they're putting a lot of energy into their work, and perhaps they don't always have the bandwidth for this connection, which is why they're a little bit hot and cold, a little bit in and out. Um, it feels like they're juggling a lot in their life. Um, one of those things is you, and uh, this may be why you are only receiving crumbs of their attention or affection, or why they are giving you mixed messages in some way, all right? But your person really wants you to know that they find you very, very, um, like, just emotionally satisfying, emotionally fulfilling. You're just like, um, a, a, like this Nine of Cups is really like a wish fulfilled. So there's something about you that they find is kind of perfection or that they find is um, just like a dream come true for them, really, that they're just like, um, this is good, too good to be true, or it's just like they find you so beautiful or so handsome, they feel very, very good when they're with you. They enjoy being with you so much. What I'm hearing is the word nourishing as well. They find this connection like very nourishing, very fulfilling when they are with you. You know, you add a lot of dimension to their life. So there's this energy here, it could be um, long distance with this um, Three of Wands energy here, there may be a long distance connection or a kind of medium distance, uh, which may be a factor in your uh, connection. They are, there's this energy of kind of waiting, of biding their time. I feel like um, they may be stuck in some stagnation here, you know, while they're doing some of this inner work or kind of dealing with some of the stuff that they've got going on in their life. There's also this energy here that I'm seeing repeated of like this fear of rejection. Maybe they like to keep things on the surface level because they have a fear of rejection. This is what I'm seeing here as well. Uh, maybe in general, or maybe from you, maybe they feel like you wouldn't uh, want them or that you wouldn't want them now after everything that's happened or that you're no longer interested in them or that they don't have much to offer you something like this but there is this energy of like um, of rejection there's also this energy of kind of them wanting you to uh, make the first move or to put the work in or to do the work on their behalf now I don't suggest um, necessarily that you do that this is just uh, like a message from them, from their higher self. This is kind of what's going on in them. It's like, they're, what I'm hearing is it would be easier. So it's just like, it's easier for them if, if they abdicate all the responsibility and you take responsibility for everything that's happened or everything that's happening or that if you make all the moves or that you uh, reach out with a message or... Um, you know, whatever it is, like if you do all the legwork and take all the responsibility, they're just like, oh, that'll be easier, then I'll be off the hook. Um, and, the, you know, or oh, that uh, if you sort everything out on their behalf. So there is this kind of little part of themselves that, that would like um, that, would like that, but it isn't necessarily for the best uh, that you do that. It's just like, I, you know, I think it's up to them to kind of uh, bridge the gap to make the move to come towards you but they know it would be easier if um, you came towards them um, we have the nine of swords here um, they're leaving a lot of their anxieties behind and it's because they feel so good when they're with you so I feel like what I'm hearing is kind of the worst is over so maybe if there was a bad time or no contact or like a missed opportunity something like this maybe if you came um 
kind of uh, up against their, their fears or something that may be a trigger. They've healed a lot of this. Again, there's this energy of them uh, being, you know, wanting to make this offer, wanting to bring you this genuine love that they have in their heart. But, and they're very nearly, they're very nearly there with doing this. This is what they want you to know with this Nine of Wands. They've been working through their issues, Nine of Swords. They've been working through their fears and they are very close to being able to kind of come towards you to make that offer of love, to be able to kind of uh, speak out, to make that offer, to connect with you uh, with something genuine from the heart. So um, they have been on a journey and they are like nearly there. Again, there is a little bit of a, uh, an energy of uh, res resistance maybe. And again, you know, I'm seeing this in like, all four of my kind of sections that I'm looking at in this spread on the table of resistance due to fear of rejection. So maybe they think that you won't take them back or that you, you're too good for them or um, whatever it is in your situation or that things are too complicated, maybe because of your friendship group or their responsibilities or your responsibilities or where you live or something like this. There is this kind of resistance that is holding them back because of these reasons. So, but they wanna come towards you. That's their message. They wanna come towards you uh, with this love. Actually, before we get started on your oracle cards, although they look juicy, I wanna pick one of these new cards. These are the, this is the Myth and Fire deck. Um, which is the latest Lumi Hair deck. Um, I'm so proud of this deck. This is a, a messages from for Twin Flames and Soulmate Messages. So let's see what your person wants to say. Oh my goodness, we have all that glitters is not gold. So there may be uh, some energy here of like uh, a promise that they couldn't fulfill. Um, and it isn't because they're a bad person or they try to be shady. I feel like it's to do with their... Um, like their responsibilities or something like this. Maybe they said that they'd be there for you. Maybe they said that they'd always be there for you, um, something like this, and they haven't been able to show up for you in the way that you had hoped. Um, and we have the beautiful card, Worth the Wait. There is this energy of waiting here with this Knight of Pentacles and this Three of Wands. So uh, this is a message from Spirit saying, you know, this connection is really worth the wait. You also get the Divine Feminine, the energy of receiving, this is the energy of kind of trusting in this as it unfolds, just knowing that everything is working out for your highest good. Excuse me, I've got my hedgehog mug today. And why is that? It's because I love hedgehogs. Um, so yeah, the energy of kind of allowing, allowing your person to kind of uh, show up for you, um, uh, allowing your person to, you know, trusting in this process, trusting in them to show up for you beautiful divine feminine energy that may be the case that you are their divine feminine or they are your divine feminine uh, energetically speaking we have the card control this is from the echo soul deck or is it i don't know probably um so there is this energy of them kind of what I'm hearing is losing control, like they've got this fear of losing control because we had a lot of these chaotic energies at the beginning um, and there is more of a need for a container for control here. So it's like this energy of your person is really saying, look, I'm regaining control of myself, of my emotions, of this situation. Um, Again, from Echo Soul, we have round and round. So it may be the case that this relationship is in a pattern or you're experiencing their emotional patterns um, that they are working towards breaking free from. It may be the case that you're just like, um, this is a little bit of history repeated. This is a pattern that's repeated um, in this connection. We have, I don't have the words to express how I feel from the Seasons of the Soul Oracle deck. Um, so it may be the case that your person isn't really kind of speaking up about, you know, how good they feel when they're with you, uh, about the good times, about how kind of uh, satisfying and nourishing they find your connection, about the love that they have in their heart, about how they're working on themselves. I feel like they're keeping like a lid on it, keeping it um, as a container. We have the card change. 
Um, so this is an indication that your person is really changing, um, they're making moves to kind of change. I feel like this is an indication from Spirit that this situation is going to change uh, for, you know, to bring success, positivity your way with this beautiful connection um, as well. This is interesting. Uh, we have the card Solitude from the Fairies Oracle deck. So it may be that you're in no contact or you're spending time apart. Um, or you're kind of not together, you're not really sure what's going on with them. Um, think of being alone as meaning you are all one and total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during quiet times. So, you know, if you are in no contact or uh, in long distance, you're spending time apart from one another. Again, spirit is really saying this can be useful. This can be like, I'm seeing this in your reading as well. This can be a useful uh, time of self-reflection, of um, allowing those energies to process. We also have I Promise to Make This Right from the Wild Heart Oracle deck and My Life is Not As Together As It Seems. This is really uh, interesting because we saw that there's a lot of chaos, that we feel like they have got a lot of responsibility at this time. So, um, yeah, I sense that your person may be, um, you know, they may look like they're kind of cool as a cucumber and they've got everything going on and they've got everything under control uh, or that their emotions are under control. But I just feel like beneath the surface, um, they're a little bit of a mess. And I promise to make things right. I think this is such a lovely message for you as well. If they've missed that opportunity to ask you out or um, things have been a little bit uh, triggering or awkward or whatever it is that's going on with you, there is this energy of kind of working towards um, making things right between you both so that you can be in union and uh, find harmony in this connection. This is what we want, harmony uh, between you both. All right. That is everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to read your cards as always. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful book, Feminine Frequency. It's for the feminine energy partner, the partner who likes to be pursued and to receive. So there's always a masculine energy partner and a feminine energy partner, regardless of your gender. But this Feminine Frequency, I've written it from the heart. It's got hundreds of example scripts of how to express yourself from your feminine energy, whether that's online or through texts, uh, texting and messaging or whether it's um, in person in conversation and by expressing yourself through your feminine energy to a masculine energy partner it will build magnetic attraction and harmonious communication between you both if that resonates you can find out loads more it's linked in the description box but have an amazing week i'm sending you love and blessings i look forward to seeing you again soon here on lumiere take care bye, -bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two. This is for everyone who picked the beautiful and amazing quartz crystal geode. All right, let's take a look at the energy surrounding your connection, the messages that your person has for you. I'm going to begin by drawing one of these amazing cards. I think this is called the, uh, the Love Messages Oracle or the Lovers Oracle, something like this. Um, they're all, it's a heart-shaped deck, so it's pretty magical. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, you get this beautiful image and we have it says secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on so uh, this is a message for you this could be that uh, your person is uh, your crush and they haven't uh, expressed their feelings or the person that you're thinking about today you know that there's a lot of flirtation you know that there's something going on in this connection uh, but they haven't uh, expressed it hasn't been uh, you know uh, spoken about. Maybe you're just friends and they haven't talked about kind of deeper feelings, something like this. Um, it could be, if that doesn't resonate, remember this is just a general reading. It could also just be a sign from spirit that somebody else has their eye on you and that you are very magnetic at this time, uh, that you're kind of drawing love to you. Okay, so, um, which is beautiful. It makes, it creates like a lovely energy around you of kind of uh, excitement and magnetism and, you know, draws more love to you. So, I absolutely love that. Let's, uh, oh my goodness, let's take a look at your tarot. I will clarify with your oracle cards. You get the beautiful Ace of Cups to open your reading. Ten of Wands, the Lovers, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. You get Queen of Pentacles, uh, Five of Cups, 
the Hermit in reverse, and then you get three of pentacles, uh, the nine of pentacles, and the knight of swords to close your reading. So let's talk about this. I see Virgo's energy here very strongly. Uh, Taurus energy could also be um, Capricorn uh, as well. So a lot of earth energy here. I see Gemini's energy and Aquarius energy as well very strongly. So uh, that could resonate with you, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Look at this. This is it. This is a super interesting reading, I've got to tell you. Um, and a very powerful connection between you both. This person has deep, genuine love for you. They want to offer you this cup of love. They want to offer you um, uh, love, right? It's like they're holding their heart out to you. It's like their heart's in their hand and they're holding it out to you. But there is, you know, there's something about this connection which is a burden. It could be that like, it's a little bit triggering for them in some way. I feel like they've not experienced anything like this before. So the depth of this connection um, is something that they haven't experienced before. And you know, maybe this is triggering them, maybe it's freaking them out, maybe they don't know how to kind of uh, pin it down or label it or, or name it in some way. But the reason that they feel like this or why um, it's a struggle for them is because um, it's a very spiritual connection, right? This is something, this is like what I'm hearing is match made in heaven. This is something that is like spiritually blessed, that you were like destined to cross paths with one another, to meet each other. So again, there's this energy of like, I don't know whether they're holding back for some reason, um, because it's like the love that they have for you is they're holding it back and this is kind of weighing it's weighing on their heart that they can't be with you uh with this lover's energy so it's weighing very heavily on their heart that they're kind of not with you that they haven't maybe expressed how they feel or um perhaps you can't be together because of family issues or responsibilities or um location or something like this this is what i'm picking up on um so there's this kind of energy around sort of difficulty around union, right? Your person's message to you is that they are in love with you. They have strong feelings for you. Um, and this is a spiritual connection. Maybe the, the burden is that they haven't recognized that this is a spiritual connection. Maybe a twin flame, definitely a soulmate, definitely past life connection here as well. Um, but there is some sort of blocks to union is what I'm seeing as well. So it could be that they haven't expressed their love for you or that they want to be with you in a relationship for whatever reason. Maybe the timing's bad. Maybe there's stuff going on. Maybe um, like things in the 3D are kind of difficult for you. And so they haven't been able to kind of make this happen or that you haven't been able to make this happen to kind of be in union with one another. It's weighing very heavily on their heart. I feel like I want to cry. It's just like, I'm really tearing up right now. There's something about this which is very painful for them. Um, you know, either that they don't understand this connection or that they, that they can't be with you for whatever reason or that you're not currently together. This is what I'm seeing, but definitely um, a beautiful spiritual union. You are two of a kind, uh, like a perfect mirror of one another. So your um, triggers are maybe the same. Maybe you've got lots of uh, similarities in your personality, uh, personalities or your interests. Or maybe on one level, you're like chalk and cheese, like totally different, but on the energetic frequency, you are the same as one another. Like, it's like you're kind of spiritual twins. So yeah, maybe twin flames, but uh, just energetically, you very, you very much mirroring one another, lots and lots of uh, similarities between you. And um, I'm hearing lots of synchronicities as well. So maybe there are lots of uh, spiritual signs that you get about this connection, angel numbers, signs, um, spirit animals, things like this. Spirit is really talking to you about this connection. And I feel that you can really sense each other's energy uh, energetically and spiritually as well. You've got this uh, bond of light between you both where you're always exchanging energy. This is what I'm saying. It's just like you're two peas in a pod. You're so closely bound together with one another. 
this reading is blowing my mind. Um, it's super exciting. Um, Six of Swords, the Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. I wonder if you have decided to um, go your separate ways for some of you. It may be the case that um, there was a missed opportunity here. Uh, maybe you spent some time together and then you had to go your separate ways for whatever reason or you decided to go your separate ways for whatever reason. There's this energy here of your person feels like they're doing um, like it's for the best because they're not connected to the spiritual, the energetic, the emotional. They're really thinking about this from the 3D perspective, from uh, their logical mind, right? This may be how they are connecting to you and to. I think that you can see more of the layers, right, of this connection, this relationship with this person. You can see the kind of spiritual facets to, um, you meeting one another whereas your person is kind of a little bit more logical they're like oh what about money or what about because you live here and there and I want to do this and you want to do this and um or you know you've got this your family and I've got this or you've got children or I've got children or you know the, those kind of day-to-day -day 3d um I'm seeing a picture of an anchor very strongly it's like they're kind of pulled down uh or kind of maybe weighed down um, and this is why they can't be together. Maybe they're already in another union um, or they're married or they're getting a divorce or, you know, there's something going on. But there's this image of an anchor where they're kind of anchored into their own life um, and they can't kind of see a way of kind of being able to approach you or to make this happen or for you to be together. Um, but they want to be. This is their message to you. They want to be with you. 100% but I see a positive change here fate is going to play a part in this you can trust in the universe to have your back in this instance um, or always um, because fate is going to play a part in this this is going to change you don't want to get too caught up in like oh but what if this or your fears is what I'm hearing don't get caught up in that because um, this is going to change for the better and create success for you for the long term. They see you as um, very, very special, very unique, very like a blessing in their life is what I'm hearing, very magical and someone that they could really commit to and have in their life for the long term, for a long term committed relationship. This is what I'm seeing and definitely... Um, you know, someone that they can see this connection growing, you know, growing it, developing it, right? You know, blossoming into something else. And there is this sadness here with this Five of Cups that this potential of this connection hasn't been realized. This is what your person wants you to know, that the potential, it makes them feel very, um, you know, the sorrow here, the sadness, a little bit of depression, um, that you know maybe they can't take things further or that you're not in union or that they haven't been able to um, fully realize the potential of this connection moving forward but um, this hermit in the reverse is really saying they're just like they're coming out of this energy of the coming out of the cold coming out of this energy of isolation uh, you know, maybe if they've stepped back from things, maybe if they've withdrawn their energy, they want to connect with you. This is like an energy of like reaching out to you, wanting to connect, um, having gone through that dark night of the soul in order to gain understanding and to move forward. You know, and what are you moving forward to? Um, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. This is really saying, look, they're going to want to connect with you. They want to work on this. They want to put the work in. Um, with this Three of Pentacles. So it may be the case that um, you work together or the work colleagues bring you together or that something like this happens, but there's definitely this energy here of um, them wanting to uh, work on this. I There's like this energy here of um, like somebody helping you guys to kind of get together or to make this right or uh, to bring you into alignment, right? With this energy, like a mutual friend, maybe somebody that you don't even know. Um, I'm getting like really strong energy of excitement. This, yeah. Oh, I 
don't even know how to describe this energy to you, which is super unhelpful because that's my job. Um, but yeah, I just see them coming out wanting to work with you and just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Let me see if I can try. But um, it's interesting. They want to come towards you. They want to work on this. Um, it may be that uh, somebody helps you to bring you together is what I'm seeing. But look, they want to come towards you with this Knight of Swords, they are going to communicate with, with you, right? They have identified you as the one, um, they have beautiful, genuine love for you, they've identified you as the one and they want to come towards you to make you their uh, prize or to make you their own, however you resonate with it, but I see a lot of communication here, I see a lot of forward motion, you know, this is the outcome of your reading, this Knight of Swords, so a change in this situation, forward motion, a lot of positivity, a lot of communication, and them coming towards you to claim you and just be like, yes, you are the one that I want to be with. Um, so yeah, actually, I want to pick one of these cards. Let's take a look at these. This is the newest deck in the Lumiere Connect, uh, collection. I cannot stop designing at this time. I feel so, this one wants to come out. Um, I feel like so creative. It's something to do with the spring, I think. Um, we have the card, patient and strong. Um, so this is the myth and fire deck. So uh, maybe those are qualities that you have or that your person has. Maybe you've been asked in this connection to uh, be very grounded and strong, to be patient with them while they kind of uh, work out kind of how to make this happen, how to make this union happen. Um, you know, and if you are um, kind of waiting for that, you know, if you are having... Uh, being asked to be patient with them while they kind of sort out their life circumstances or decide what it is that they want. Staying in that grounded strength, right? So nice. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. We have the card, I'm sorry I ran away. Uh, this is from the Wild Heart Oracle deck. So I just feel like you know, maybe they ran away from this connection, but now they are definitely, you know, this is your outcome running towards it. Um, we have, we connect on so many levels. Super interesting. This is what I was saying, it's a spiritual connection. So, you know, maybe you've got those things in common, maybe you communicate really well, but also you are connected at the level of the heart, at the level of spirit, you know, psychically connected. This is so lovely. We have the card, New Beginnings from the Fairies Oracle deck. I love this for you guys. A fresh start in love here, um, you know, opening your reading with the Ace of Cups, you know, wanting a chance, wanting a new beginning, wanting um, a fresh start with this, you know, to embark on a new uh, phase, a new journey is what I'm hearing as well. Um, we have the card Progress. Uh, this is really positive for you as well. Beautiful waterfall image on this card. This is from the Galaxy of Lovers deck. Um, this is really saying, look, things are moving forward. You're making progress. Your person is making progress towards, uh, you know, greater understanding of this connection and uh, towards, you know, sorting out some of these 3D world issues. So progress being made here, moving forward. We have, it's safer to keep all this in my head uh, from the Seasons of the Soul deck. Um, this is just like, maybe they've, uh, maybe they're not very good at opening up, really talking things through, discussing things with you. Um, maybe they feel like it would be too vulnerable for them to really open up to you um, at this time. Um, or that it would just sound too crazy, right? This is what I'm picking up on, that they just think, oh no, if I say that out loud, it's just going to sound too crazy. Or that, you know, their feelings for you, their love for you, you know, their desire to be with you, um, they're keeping it like, you know, to themselves at this time. Maybe they feel like it's kind of wrong um, or isn't the right time. Oh my goodness, we have the card Spiritual Connection from the Echo Soul deck. So like I was saying, you know, you've got this Lover's card. This is a spiritual connection, maybe to inflame, definitely a soulmate. You're connected at the level of spirit. So if you are feeling this connection very intensely, this is why. Uh, we have the card Abundance. This is so nice. Uh, echoing that, that kind of energy of the Queen of Pentacles, of them feeling very expansive when they're with you. This connection feels very abundant to them. We often think of abundance as just kind of prosperity or money, but abundance is like a bandwidth. 
of well-being, of feeling good, of love, of receiving, of happiness, of joy, right? Um, we have, I remember every detail of that day. Um, so there is some sort of day that stands out in their mind that they want you to know about. This is their message to you. That um, it could be the day that they met you or maybe the day that you separated or whatever. It's like they're, what I'm hearing is they're ruminating on it. It goes over and over in their mind. They remember uh, your facial expression, what it is that you were wearing, other stuff that was going on. They remember it in detail. We have the guard card guide as well. So you are both spiritually guided. There is a light in the darkness here and you are being spiritually guided forward towards union is what I'm hearing. So um, this is like the light that will illuminate the solutions to the problems uh, in this connection. All right, such a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful time and energy with me today. I've loved it so very much. If you feel called to, please check out my self-study course, Manifest a Specific Person. If you wanna come into right alignment with this person that you are thinking about today that you've been asking about, then I can help you to do that. It's a very comprehensive course. It's eight hours of video training with me, a workbook, we've got meditations, all kinds. So it's super powerful. If you need to get into frequency, get into right alignment with your person, then this course is for you. Check that out if it resonates. It's all linked in the description box. If you want more free tarot, check us out on Instagram, Lumiere underscore mystic. But have an amazing week. I'm sending you love and blessings. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three and this is for everyone who picked the beautiful raw rose quartz crystal. I love to have loads of rose quartz around me. Uh, let me know if you do it as well down in the comments. I love to uh, put it in water, uh, you know, out in the sunshine and then drink that water to absorb all that loving energy. I like to put it in my bath and bathe in rose quartz, all the good things. All right, I think I'll begin by drawing one of these cards. This is the Lover's Oracle. Um, this uh, beautiful heart-shaped oracle deck is so nice. Okay, <clears throat> you get this beautiful image. And it says healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. This is making me want to tear up a little bit. So it's really saying that maybe there's uh, some healing needed between you and your person at this time. Some forgiveness or just like uh, some harmonious energy and that kind of imagining you both together in that beautiful white light, a bubble of white light surrounding you both, healing you, melting away difficulties, challenges, problems, hurt, pain, letting it all dissolve in the light uh, to create healing grace between you both. So that may resonate with you. Remember, it's just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I will begin with your tarot cards and uh, clarify with your oracle cards, opening the reading with the 10 of wands. You get high priestess. I love to see the high priestess in a reading. Six of wands. You get death in reverse, the devil. <clears throat> Five of wands, four of cups, two of wands, eight of pentacles, and then you get the eight of cups, the emperor in reverse, and the three of cups. Uh, to close your reading to a double eight here, eight of pentacles and the eight of cups. So that may be a sign for you, eight, eight or eight, eight, eight in this connection. That is spirit wanting to connect with you. All right. It's interesting. Your person really wants you to know um, that what you see is not necessarily what you get. How they are showing up um, in this connection or with you or to relationships, right? Um, and the <clears throat> the kind of uh, persona or whatever it is, however it is that they're showing up is not how they really feel, right? So they may be showing up as very confident, very self-assured, very grounded, okay? Maybe, you know, even with bravado or something like this. Maybe they're showing up as like, I don't really care or I'm cool or you do you or it is what it is, you know, all of this kind of energy of just kind of like, uh, it's water off a duck's back, I'm not bothered, I'm not that bothered about you, I'm not bothered about this connection, right? Um, they may just be playing it cool, right? Whatever it is. Um, because we have this high priestess in the middle and she's just like this gateway between like uh, the spirit, their spiritual and emotional self and um, 
their kind of 3D world, uh, kind of, you know, showing up in the 3D world, their, their, that self, right? Um, but like internally, there is, they're struggling with this 10 of wands. This is what I'm seeing. Internally, they're struggling uh, with their feelings. I just feel like in general, like even if they're kind of showing up as confident or they get a lot of attention or they have a social media presence or they're very confident and people like to be around them or they've achieved a certain amount of success or whatever it is, inside they feel unsure of themselves. They don't feel that confident. Um, and that sometimes this is a burden for them to kind of continue to show up in this way. And this is how they're showing up in this connection. Maybe they're acting cool as a cucumber. Maybe they're acting like they don't uh, care that much or they're not that bothered about things. But inside, uh, the message that your person has is that they are bothered about things. They are bothered about kind of the exchange between you about um, how they've behaved, what's going on with you both. And it does weigh on them, you know, it does feel like anxiety um, or kind of low mood or even depression, something like this, or just this energy of kind of low vibration is what I'm hearing from spirit, kind of, of maybe that's kind of shame or guilt or something like this. Um, maybe this is like one of their issues, something that they carry within them, or maybe it's something to do with your connection. We will explore it further, but this is something that they are hiding from you, right? The way that they truly feel, um, you know, that they have these issues um, and that they have their feelings within is something that they're hiding from you and this is their message to you today that all is not as it seems, right? So whatever is on the surface is not what's going on beneath them. So they may have a big smile on their face, but inside uh, your person is struggling a little bit with their own emotions um, <clears throat> around this connection and that at this time, they're keeping this a secret from you um, and from life and trying to put a brave face on things um, you know, maybe they feel too vulnerable to open up, maybe they feel too uh, shameful about kind of how their authentic self, who they really are um, at this time. I feel like they they may have a secret as well, just from you in general, that they are holding back and this is uh, creating a burden from you. I don't think it's like particularly shady, um, but there may be this energy, not of like secrecy or of lying, but just of kind of holding back. There's this energy of kind of holding back. Um, and this is kind of stopping, you know, the greater understanding of like, if you knew this, um, I think you would show them compassion, right? You would show them understanding and it would give you a lot of peace of mind is what I'm hearing uh, from this connection. Sorry, I see Pisces energy here, Scorpio energy, uh, Capricorn energy and Aries energy in this reading, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, that may resonate with you um, in your situation. Your person, you know, their message to you is that they're really fighting their inner demons with this. There's this need for them to change. They know that they need to change um, change their ways, change how it is that they show up to relationships, right? That they need to level up in this way. They are addicted to you, right? They are addicted to you. There may be like um, an energy of codependency or an energy of kind of wanting to seek outside validation, you know, looking to a lot of external things, material things or people or um, social media presence, something like this, in order to kind of mirror back to them that they are good enough rather than looking within themselves. This is quite a deep message. Um, I decided on this channel that I was just going to be authentic and just be like, well, I read how I read. So yeah, this is quite a deep message, but this is how I tune into people. Um, I tune in at the deeper level. So it's just how it works. But I sense that your person's really fighting their inner demons. Um, they're definitely addicted to you though. Um, they can't stay away from you. They absolutely um, are drawn to you in this way, but there is a strong, they want you to know that they, they know that they need to change that like what I'm hearing is like the way that they've been showing up for you is not good enough. They know that they can be a better person than this. They know that they can be more grounded, more well-rounded, um, that perhaps they haven't been fair to you, but they are acting out of their shadow self, these lower base energies. This is where they're coming from. So if you're just like, why are you being like this? Why are you being so inconsistent? Why are you being so mean? Um, 
why are you not being fair to me? They're acting out of these patterns which are um, kind of ingrained in their subconscious mind. It's like um, old programming. And this creates like a conflict within them. And they, they know that they need to change with this death in the reverse, but they haven't um, done that yet. They've just been acting out of these old programs, right? We all do the best that we can with the information that we have. And your person is doing the best that they can with the information that they have. This is the message that they have for you. Look, I'm doing the best that I can from this worldview that I have through this lens, through this perception that I have around love and relationships. I'm doing my absolute best, even if it doesn't seem like it. So perhaps they've been resisting this connection with this four of cups energy. You know, maybe they've just like um, kind of been a little bit withdrawn or said no to you or like they're acting. There's a lot here like they're just like, oh, I'm busy with other things or I'm not that interested in you. But there is this two of wands, you know, here it represents like a gateway. What I'm seeing is like a gateway of kind of going through like an energetic gateway. And we have this gateway here uh, with these two pillars of the high priestess as well. So that imagery is reflected and they're going through this gateway where they're just like, yeah, I know that I need to work on myself with this eight of pentacles, right? It's going to take work. This connection is going to take some work. We're going to have to take it step by step or just like there's this kind of recognition where they're going through this energetic doorway into a place where they can kind of put the work in um, to work on themselves and to leave behind some of those old patterns, right? This is their message to you. Look, I'm leaving behind these old patterns so that I can create uh, more success and joy. What it is that they're leaving behind with this um, emperor energy in the reverse is really uh, the need to control things, right? So maybe they've had this energy of like, I need to control everything or I need to control everyone or everyone needs to be like this, otherwise I don't feel safe. So they're kind of letting go a little bit. They're letting things flow a little bit. They're letting go of some of these restrictions that they've created in their own mind, in their own headspace, in order to kind of let things flow and just being a bit more like, okay, let's just see what happens. And I see the vibration, I see their vibration rising. And this kind of, the energy surrounding this connection is really moving towards positivity, moving towards expansion, moving towards uh, kind of uh, something greater, right? And just like, just more fun. If it's felt like this has been a little bit stuck or stagnant or a little bit heavy, right? They're just moving out of that energy and into something where they're just like, yeah, I can flow with this. And just remembering that this connection can be fun, that love can be fun, that relationships can be fun, right? So they want you to know that they're remembering that, that this connection can be fun, that love can be fun, right? Um, I see like a reunion here with this Three of Cups energy. So you may be kind of reunited at this time. This is definitely something to celebrate, right? Um, it may be the case that they want to have a drink with you or they want to grab a coffee with you, right? I'm getting that energy as well. Um, Oh, I'm hearing letting their guard down as well. This is nice. There's this energy where they're just like, yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I feel it really strongly. Like I just see like a wall crumbling down, right? The barriers that they've kept out. What they're realizing is that they're keeping out all the bad stuff, you know, that fear of getting hurt, this wall that they've built, I've just seen like crumbling down. Um, but they're also keeping out the love, the joy, um uh you know the uh the the emotion the good feelings the connection right so they are going to be able to connect with you at a deeper level there is this energy of reunion of being reunited um of them wanting to kind of spend quality time with you and of things they want things to feel more fun between you both if things have felt a little bit heavy but like definitely they want you to know that they're letting their guard down they're moving on from these other energies i want to draw one of these cards this is the myth and fire oracle deck this is one of the lumiere decks it's brand new I'm so creative right now. I don't know whether it's because of the spring, but I just like, just like designing so much. This is so nice. You get the card steady and committed. 
I love this. So moving into this energy, you know, as we're moving forward into, they want to be this person who is steady and committed, who can commit to you, who is uh, more stable and less kind of um, inconsistent with you, right? They want to show up. And what I'm hearing is like, they need to be grounded. They need to put these roots down. And they know that this is something that they are uh, processing, something that they are kind of waking up to, but they are uh, committed to you for the long term. You know, their heart belongs to you. Let's take a look at your oracle cards today. From the Galaxy of Lovers deck, we have the card Third Party. Um, is that going to focus for us? If I keep it really still. There you go. Um, if there is third party energy, this is just a general reading. This is something that you already know about. So there could be somebody else in the mix that you know about, maybe an ex, maybe your ex, maybe their ex. Um, third party can often represent third party energies in these general readings. So it could be their work, another responsibility in their life. It could be their um, family um, or friends and the sort of pressures from family or friends, that sort of energy is at play here. I sense that maybe um, there may have been some interference for some of you is what I'm picking up on from family or friends um, that uh, have been interfering in this connection for some of you. Um, we have the card, I made so many mistakes from the Seasons of the Soul Oracle deck. There is this energy here, you know, with this burden that we were um, opened the reading with, you know, maybe that burden is that they feel like they've made mistakes and they have regrets over that, or they recognize that now, um, that they have missed opportunities or that they didn't treat you fairly in the past. We have this beautiful card message from the Echo Soul deck. So I see them uh, reaching out with a message to you, uh, being able to connect to you with something very meaningful, something that's gonna mean uh, something to you, you know, like a genuine connection. Uh, this feather image or a feather may also be uh, a sign for you in this connection as well. We have the card expansive. This is really lovely. So this is like, like we were talking about, I think we were saying, you know, they're moving into more expansive energies as they kind of let their guard down. They're able to flow more energies to let more in um, to you. Right. And like there's this mountain image here of, you know, climbing to the top of the mountain. What do you get? You get to see the view. You get to see things clearly, uh, you know, have illumination um, and clarity in your situation. Uh, we have talking of clarity. We have the card understanding. Beautiful rays of light coming in here. So this is just like the coming into this understanding that um, of how they can be this leveled up person of how they can be less rigid, of kind of letting things flow a little bit. They understand this now, um, and they understand this connection um, much better at a deeper level, and they want you to know this. This is it, <laughs> look at this. We have, um, I know I messed up everything, um, you know, and after I made so many mistakes. So they're, they want you to know that they have, that they're taking responsibility for this, that there is a certain amount of uh, blame here that they have within themselves. Um, if they had their time over, um, they would seize that opportunity. They would do things differently. They would um, express themselves differently to you. Um, but there's definitely an energy of regret um, out of how they behave. But this is like, as a result of their patterns, definitely this energy of kind of going round and round in circles of patterns and of self-sabotage. So your person has like a little bit of a uh, an energy of self-sabotage around them. We have the card Abundance, beautiful energy from the Fairies Oracle deck. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in Fairyland and in Humanland. There is enough abundance for everybody. So this beautiful fairy here is just like, being showered with petals. So it's like being showered with love, being, they, they look like little hearts coming down. So it feels like very gentle, graceful energy. And she's standing in this beautiful blossoming flower. So it's like the heart chakra blossoming open. So this is like a sign of kind of more uh, exchange of feeling, more free flowing feeling that we were talking about, being able to connect um, to the energies of love, which are, is the energy of abundance, right? 
And then we have this beautiful card from the Wild Heart Oracle deck uh, of, it says, you are teaching me how to love. So there's something about you which is very genuine, which is very grounded, which is very pure. You know, you don't have the same issues as them. You don't have the same triggers as them, right? And um, you are able to be vulnerable and to open your beautiful heart space. And you have all this abundance, this beautiful love from your heart space to give. And in a way, they're sort of quite envious of your... Um, your ability to love so freely and the ease of which you connect to other people. And I feel like your person struggles with that and that's the message that they have for you, that sometimes they struggle with connection. But by being in your energy, by experiencing your frequency, um, they are able to connect to these energies of love and you are showing them a new way of being, a new way of seeing the world, that they do not need to be so afraid um, of you know, connecting to you, uh, and to other people and to life and that they can connect to this frequency of abundance that you flow so beautifully and so easily and so naturally is what I'm hearing as well. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honour to read your cards. I've loved this reading so much. It's definitely quite a, uh, there are challenges here. There's definitely some complexity within uh, your person. Um, doesn't make them a bad person at all. There's just that energy of complexity that has been showing up in your reading today. Excuse me, if you want more free tarot, check us out on Instagram, Lumiere underscore Mystic. Also check out my collection of Oracle decks, the Lumiere Oracle decks. I've designed them all from the heart. I've poured so much love and creativity into these decks. Um, I've got uh, three kind of twin flame soulmate uh, love readings uh, decks uh, called Echo Soul, Galaxy of Lovers and Myth and Fire. And I've got some other decks as well for general readings. I've got a minimalist one. I've got a, a boho themed one. So yeah, I'm just pouring all my heart, all my creativity into those. They are all linked in the description box and on my website if you want to find out more. It's lumiertarot.com. Have an amazing week. I'm sending you love and blessings in your situation. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care. Bye-bye.